we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Welcome back to Sweet Smith Home. Um, today's video is week two of our IUI cycle. And um, so if you have not seen week one, I will link that in the description box. And it is also in our secondary infertility playlist for you to um, go back and kind of see our previous week. I am cycle day nine. I'm running late and just pulled into my fertility clinic, so I need to call them and let them know that I'm here. Today, I am getting my Minipur, Minipur injection, which this is so crazy. Like, I feel like everything I've seen on YouTube, people give themselves the Minipur injection. So, like, they give the shot themselves. So, I didn't know it was weird until I was, like, looking at other people. But my fertility clinic does it here in the clinic. Um, and then I have another appointment in three days for the ultrasound that should give me the all clear for my trigger shot. So, hopefully this week, let's just keep our fingers crossed that this week we will do um, two shots this menopore and the trigger shot and that we have our IUIs and we're gonna come in for two IUIs so we'll come in the following two days after the trigger shot for IUI number one and IUI number two so that hopefully should be in this whole video ah, I'm really excited I I go back and forth of being like really excited really hopeful full of peace to like also flip side of like oh my gosh this isn't gonna work like what am I gonna do when this doesn't work I'm nervous <sighs> or I guess an, a thing that I'm nervous about is um, I just hope I'm just praying that on Thursday when I go in for my ultrasound that we get the all, all clear like we get our thumbs up to go ahead and get the trigger shot and move forward with the IUI that's really I need to just not look too far into the future about if this is gonna work or anything and just think about the next step like literally just the next step which is this injection and then getting to the trigger shot okay that was interesting um yeah that was interesting so I went in and my doctor said they after thinking about it they were recommending me to get an ultrasound today Again, because of my personal health, everything is fine. Like, everything looks normal. Everything looks picture perfect. She even said last ultrasound that my ovaries look nice and fertile. So, she was nervous, I guess, that after taking Clomid, like, what if, like, my ovaries went berserk and I had, like, all of these follicles and all these eggs ready to release, then she wouldn't want to add in the Minipur injection. So I consented to another ultrasound and I have one mature follicle, like one egg that's like pretty much ready to go. So she said that is we have to like make sure to move fast because they don't want me to release that egg. And then I have one egg that's like almost ready. So they went ahead and gave me the injection with the hopes that it will be ready and in two days so instead of thursday now it's going to be wednesday so wednesday morning i'm going to come back in for another ultrasound <laughs> to make sure the eggs are ready and that both eggs are ready and that i haven't ovulated yet and if i haven't ovulated yet they'll give me a trigger shot and then i'll come back thursday and friday for the iui if I come in on Wednesday and I've already ovulated that one ready egg, then I gotta call Dallas and he's gotta bring everything up to the clinic because we'll do the IUI that day and then Thursday. I don't know if that makes any sense. I also did go ahead after she saw I just had one egg that was ready and one that's about to be ready. Um, she did go ahead and give the Minipore injection right into my stomach kind of hurt and I'm kind of, I'm really glad I didn't have to do it myself honestly um, let's see if you can the needle was just like a little pinch um, but I definitely felt them releasing the medication like it kind of hurt 
Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm really glad I didn't have to do that myself. That would not have been good. So that's where we are. I'm gonna come back on Wednesday. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Running a little late. Well, good morning. <laughs> I am not going to talk long on here since I am driving, I wanna be safe. But today is, um, oh gosh, I don't even know what cycle day it is. I am going in for my third and hopefully final ultrasound. Sorry, my camera is literally just sitting on the dashboard, so I really gotta wrap this up. Going in for my third ultrasound to confirm, one, that I have not ovulated yet, and to confirm that my two eggs are ready to be released. And if they are, which that's, I really am hopeful that that's what's gonna happen today, then I'm gonna get a shot, I'm gonna get a trigger shot, probably in my booty, and we'll schedule the IUIs for tomorrow. And so tomorrow's Thursday, so we'll schedule them for Thursday and Friday. That's the goal, so <laughs> wish me luck. Let's see what happens. Yes, this is Brittany Smith. I'm here for my um, appointment at nine. Okay, and Brittany, did you get a chance to fill out the COVID questionnaire for us? I did. All right, sounds good. We are just getting one checked in ahead of you. It'll be just a couple minutes. I'll call you when we're ready for you. Perfect, thank you. You have two mature follicles okay. to trigger today, and I definitely want you to trigger today. So Perfect. Perfect. A beautiful looking cycle. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I've been praying for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good to go. She said it's a beautiful cycle. I have two mature eggs, which is perfect. There is a smaller one that could she said very very small chance that that could release as well um so like i'll say two and a half eggs <laughs> but it's all great we triggered i got my trigger shot right in my butt so much better than the minipur injection like so much i barely felt it at all and i got our collection our collection cups <laughs> so tomorrow Sorry, oh my gosh, the sun. Um, tomorrow and the next day are IUI days. <laughs> Yay! Can help you? Yes, this is Brittany Smith. I'm here to drop off um, our collection for our IUI today. Okay, sounds good. And Brittany, you get a chance to fill out the COVID questionnaire for us? I did. All right, perfect. Why don't you go ahead and step inside? It'll be just a minute, and I'll have Connie come down and get your temperature, and we'll get that checked in. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. You bet. Okay, I'm here. I'm dropping off our uh, sample and we'll go from there. than expected. I left my car running, phone in here, camera on. Golly, I ended up being like five minutes. Whoops, thought I was just gonna hand it off. There's obviously a little more security protocol than just handing off your sperm collection. So, okay. Oh, the sun's so bright right here. Um. Okay, ever since I was keeping the, the sample nice and warm tried to keep it close to my body um, ever since yesterday I have just felt really good about this and and not just really good in the sense of like it's gonna work like I know even good chance like this is only like a 15% chance that this will work so I know very much so that it might not work and I might end up not pregnant but I feel a lot of hope right now and a lot of peace at whatever the outcome may be. And I'm just like clinging to that because I know that the two week wait is probably going to be a huge roller coaster. Um, 
but I do feel a lot of peace. I just want to remember <laughs> that, that um, I feel like we're giving ourselves the best chance possible. And that's all I wanted is I wanted the best chance possible. And if it doesn't work, then of course I'm going to be upset and I'm going to be devastated. But I feel like I can know, I can at least have peace of mind that we did everything we could have done. You know, like literally we've done everything. We decided to skip straight to the full IUI. Um, probably could have just taken Clomid. Probably could have just... Um, done an IUI with timed intercourse like we could have done all those things and we decided why not if we're gonna do this just give ourselves the best chance and that's what we're doing and she told me yesterday that my cycle looked beautiful and then I have two mature eggs possibly even a third um, the chance for multiples is still really really small I would be one I would be so happy I would be thrilled <laughs> with twins but I'm just wanting I mean just give me a baby just one baby please um so I just feel like everything has gone according to plan and everything has gone perfectly and so I can rest easy in that in knowing it wasn't well what if we would have done this 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 like everything is as good as it's gonna get it's best case scenario and that makes me feel pretty hopeful or at least at peace um, I'm just gonna be excited and maybe that will have all the good feelings and um, the lack of I was so nervous this morning though I was like don't be stressed don't be stressed but don't be stressed <laughs> because I know that stress can make it a little more difficult oh the Sun is just not it's rising so I was I had parked in the right spot and then whatever okay I'm gonna just hang out and wait for the call Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it number one is done um it was not very bad it was slightly uncomfortable but not the actual IUI procedure just the like speculum speculum or whatever it is that like holds everything open um that was very pretty uncomfortable but other than that it was didn't feel anything at all and um like I didn't feel the catheter or anything like that um it was really quick and then I laid there for about 10 minutes pretty flat little I felt like my head was a little bit um, more down a little bit angled down I don't know I was in a chair and then when the timer went off I just got dressed again <laughs> and there you have it so literally it took 20 minutes because um, I think I went in well I think I went in a little before nine so maybe about 30 minutes total um, but yeah I'm just gonna take it easy today try not to stress too much about anything and then I'll come back tomorrow and do it all again one more time. And then it is time for the wait. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to that part, honestly. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Alright you guys, I dropped off the collection um, for my second IUI today. I am going to go ahead and end the video here. I know that's kind of crazy, but I'm going to do another video of like week three and part of like the two week wait and stuff like that. And so I'll kind of pick up here in my next video. I am just so thankful that people are following along with this journey. Um, I'm so thankful for any prayers or well wishes. Um, it's definitely been a crazy ride. And just know that if you're going through the same thing, I would love to connect with you in the comments. Please leave me a message. Please comment um, so that I can be praying for you as well. So I hope you guys have a great day. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video.